27962. That would open 27960, and then 1, and then 2. And then it wouldn't open anything else. So I'm just going to set it back to 1. For protocol, you want to make sure it's UDP. If it is not UDP and it's TCP or GRE, I forget what GRE is, um, it will not work. You need to make sure it's UDP. Um, and then your LAN IP address, which is going to be the IP address of that computer. Uh, some modems change the IP addresses of these computers. Um, you can look up how to set it statically in Windows. I'm not going to show that because it's completely off topic. And kind of, it's kind of your, I want to say it's your problem, but if you, ha if you can figure this out or follow along with this, then you should be able to go and Google how to set a static IP on my computer. In, or inside your modem, if your modem has that feature. Mine doesn't, because it has a DNS server built in and a DHCP, so I can do anything I want on my side and not have to use it on the modem. So, my server is this IP. This is your local internal IP. You can get the IP by going again back in the network and sharing, local IP, uh, local area connection, details, and that is right there. This is my personal computer. That's uh, 192.168.2.11. My server is 2.10. So you do that. You click apply. You don't have to worry about if it says set remote port information. You want to make sure you have the LAN port and inf IP information. I don't have to touch this. Um, so I press apply, but it's already set, so I don't need to do it. Um, so once you have your port set up, um, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, in the sense that your ports shouldn't be blocked. Um, I just see my Skype chat. So, now we can go over to my server box. I am accessing it through TeamViewer because I do not have physical access. It is sitting under my desk, and all I have hooked up to it is a keyboard because I don't want to have a mouse sitting there and all that shit and dedicate a monitor to it. So, Let's go in here. I'll actually full screen that bitch. Um, it is only 1440 by 900, so the resolution gets down down a little bit uh, in terms of quality, but whatever. It helps you guys uh, understand what's going on better. So, once we're on the box, we pretty much go and... Oh, what the fuck was it? Oh, oh you can check your, your specs right here. Um, Pentium dual core, 2.8 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM, blah blah blah. Uh, make sure your Windows is activated so your server doesn't shut down randomly from uh, Windows Genuine or whatever the fuck it is. Ginty. I call it Ginty. <laughs> you know, that's how I am. Um, so, as you can see, I have a bunch of servers here, but the one we want to go and fuck around with, actually, I don't know if it's easy. Oh, it's easy to read like this, okay. Um, is really blurry on my screen. So, you're gonna want to have your server. Oh, by the way, um, you're gonna want to have your client sent over to your server. So, uh, example, I have all my servers here, and then I have my NemOps FFA server. That's just a client converted into um, a server. Uh, I'm gonna be linking the the dedicated server executable on the form. So in the same form topic, I won't be linking it through YouTube because that's silly. Um, and pretty much what I did here was I just have same files and all that shit just turned into a server with uh, the DW key and all that shit, which I don't, yeah, whatever. DW key, still need it, um, yeah. So, uh, fuck. So once you have your server or your client files over onto your dedicated server box, um, we go into the server and you put the executable over here. You would overwrite your client one. Um, I just have the updater there just in case I need it. Um, you can delete the soundtrack if you have that. You can delete everything you don't need. Like there would be videos in here. You can delete that zone, common, like, just make sure everything's the same. I don't have my DLCs set up yet because I haven't, uh, dragged them over. But in order to play DLC maps, you have to have the map, or the DLC maps actually in your server. So, be aware of that. 
Um, so, you're going to want to send a desktop or an icon to your desktop. So you'll right click on Black Ops uh, MP.exe, create a shortcut. I already have a shortcut, so I don't need to do that. And you'll right click on the shortcut and go to Properties. Um, at this point, you're going to be getting this code. Or you're going to be putting this code in. Um, I will be linking that as well. But uh, as you see, um, I can't make it wi the band a little bigger. But you want to make sure that the port is exactly the same as the one that you port forwarded. So in this one, it's uh, 27960. And then on this one, oops, I accidentally launched it. Fuck you. Um, it's 27961. Oops, fuck you, server. Bitch. Bitch! Get the hell out of here. Fuck you. Die. Die, you whore. I'm trying to fucking turn it off. Before it starts, because I don't want it on. Um, so yeah, just change the port between servers, um, if you have to. Um, yeah, and then for the, s the server file, or the CFG file, you're just gonna make sure it says that. Uh, unless you want to name it something stupid like um, I have a silly server dot uh, CFG and then you just change it in there but um, whatever so we're gonna go back into the folder and we're gonna go to main this is where you're gonna put your uh, server dot CFG once you have it in there uh, whoever er, god sorry I was reading Skype chat at the same time um, so uh, wh whatever you name the CFG file, you're going to want to have it line up with the same name as uh, on the executable code. Um, so for the server config, I will just be putting that in the on the form as well. But I'll just show you briefly. I have all my Archon and shit hidden because I don't want you guys seeing that. <coughs> not like it's anything hard. It's not. Um, so you can change your wide array of shit in here. Um, I do want to stress this to you guys, if you guys do not want to fuck up your stats, I'm emphasizing this, because if you guys do it to yourselves, it's not our fault, so you cannot come to the, onto the forum and be like, hey, my stats are fucked, I can't prestige, oh, my downloading game settings doesn't work, I can't make a class, I can't change my emblem, I can't do anything on my player card, you know why? It's because you set your... Um, your XP gain, like you see here, SCR underscore TDM underscore score underscore kill, and then you have it as a thousand. A thousand is the top, like the absolute max that you can do. You might be able to do a little bit more, but I don't know if we have the hard limit on there yet. I really hope that we have the hard limit on there. I'm not sure. We haven't tested around with that because I don't want to fuck my stats up, and I don't want to fuck up the database. So, um, just keep it at a thousand per kill if you can um, if you raise it above you may run actually not I won't say may because you will fuck up your stats if you make it so that one kill equals um, an instant level 55 or whatever then you fucked your stats if you make it so it's 1000 per kill that's great I haven't had any issues my friends haven't had any issues the staff hasn't had any issues we have not had any issues. So if you have issues and it's because you rose it above a thousand or you got into a high XP server, that is your own fault. Um, I would have to say that uh, you have to ask a staff member to delete your account so that you can remake that account or just pretty much make a new account and uh, avoid those servers. But this is a warning to you guys. Just don't make these servers or we will be blocking your server. And when we block your server, that blocks your IP from playing, or not playing, but making servers. So, don't do it. Okay? Um, so, pretty much you can change anything you want um, in the config. You can limit the kill streak, so you can change anything you want. Um, you can do gun game, you can do wager matches, you can do everything you want. Uh, for the map rotation, right now I have it as uh, nuked, which is... Nuketown, uh, because there hasn't been a lot of people on, so it's just 24-7 Nuketown on my server. Um, I'll probably just give you guys a stock config that you guys can fuck around with. Um, oh, 
also he asked for coming down. I'm just getting that now. And I'm adding somebody. Add the contacts. Add that bitch. Uh, okay. So, yeah, pretty much once I get that, uh, I'll give you guys that, which will probably be for the end of this video. Um, so I'll save that shit now. I'm saving it over onto my computer now. You guys can't see it because it's on my it's on my um, other screen. Nemops. What the fuck? Nemops? Um, Nem Mold. I'm just setting it there because I already have something downloading for that shit. Uh, so, pretty. Oh, here. Okay, this is a better example. It still doesn't work. I have to open that later. Okay, so pretty much your config is gonna look like this. Uh, you can change your game mode right here. DM equals deathmatch, or deathmatch, which is free for all. And my fucking prostitute just on lo logged on. You know him. But you really don't. Um, so where it says TDM, you put TDM under this right. I can't even fucking find it. Right here, if you want your game mode, like CTF will be CTF. Um, all that stuff. Um, yeah, you can change the colors. Pretty much, not much more for me to say about it. Um, just don't don't do the high XP shit, please. I don't want you guys fucking up your shit because if you fuck up your shit. Yeah, um, people cry, or you might cry to the forum or whatever. We can't help you, and uh, we probably won't help you because you didn't heed our warning. So, um, it's pretty much the end of this tutorial, but um, I'll just run the server so that you can see what it does. So, uh, I'll run it. So I'll speed through this. If the console takes like more than like ten seconds to turn on, um, it will probably just fail. So it says downloading all global counters, and I can just type status to make sure it works. If it brings up this status MP nuke blah blah blah, and it says nobody's in it, then it worked. And then now your people, now your friends can start joining and playing with you, whatever. Um, but yeah, pretty much. Hope it works for you guys. Um, this was a very, very, very uh, step by step by step um, tutorial. If you can't figure this out, then either your ISP is preventing you from doing it, you fucked something up on your end, not mine or ours, or you just really need to look over it again and double check your stuff. If it fails the first time, try again. If it fails a third time or a second time, try again. If it fails on the third time, come to us. But just don't be posting um support questions outside of the support thread. We will not answer them and we will most likely warn your account and three warnings and your account is banned. No questions asked, no warnings after that you will just be banned or you will lose your posting rights. So, this is the end of the tutorial and this was a uh, colonel, also known as a Canadian colonel. Um, hope this works for you guys and enjoy NemOps. We have worked on this for a very, very, very fucking long time and uh, we pretty much had our devs sitting there uh, for three or four or five weeks pretty much sleeplessly uh, trying to get this release running perfect and being ready for you guys to actually play it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, follow us on the Facebook. You can follow me on Twitch um, TV because I stream some shit. I stream Black Ops 2. I stream the, um, the projects, everything. So feel free to follow me there. I do not have a Twitter, but you can also follow our Facebook and all that shit. So enjoy. and. Uh,